Okay, so today I want to talk on how to retain texture and details for portraits. This exact picture with our front, we use natural light, snap, and then we use um, reflector to fill the light. I know, I know this setting. If this is a reflector, or then we'll use water proof. I know, see, we use one of those to fill the light. So quickly, when I just watch this video, watch my step by step process, you will understand how to retain details, high details for picture. First, my blur radius I put on for 20. This is I say, I want to make the texture be very high because the picture is very close. And now we do more brushing and we will see this whole process as we get this video. This is now Photoshop 2023 and this is for the first time. So I never really get hold of how everything they work. My mixer brush settings I put everything for 20, 20, 20. So you know we work for GDP vision. You must send me a set in one. Okay, one more thing. Since I need Photoshop, go brush settings, then brush pose, override pressure. Because I use graphics tablet now, I did these settings. So right now, now spot remover tool I use to remove the blemishes. If you use clone stand, but this pattern is faster for me. I could put link description for this video on how to do the clone stamp and all. Oh, the one other video I don't do before. Yes, so we don't finish the skin work and if you notice you can see high details for the skin and don't touch the body because nothing much to do but if you still feel it, you won't do them. Not, nothing much to do here. So I just make everything look natural. Now the next thing I want to do is jump on. If you notice this picture on a natural light, so you fix to use natural light, get your work done. Dodge and burn. So I will create MC layer. Then go back to my brush and my flow. Go back to 100. My flow back to 100, and let's just say a brush is select your this thing foreground and background. Change your foreground to white. So it's now on the more enhance this and use if you pick one, you can you can still do some of that of the some of the work that you have this inside on the work. Click on right click on this, 
blending option on the line layer open its effects so you can also try if you work for you to add this one then just like the enhancer to go back to adjust them too much for the lips or this is beautiful you can this is too much if it's adjust and just use your uh, create layer mask uh, create your layer mask on this image then change your foreground to black just x for your keyboard for your toggle that one too much so clean everything don't forget to reduce your flow, go back to 3, if it always just enter, try to click away you want, so that it will be faster. So yes, if you still want to add glitter to any other part of this increase, now nah, this same way you will use add the glitters and this is the now from the blending mode or don't put if you still add any glitters it will still work like it work perfectly for you like now if i use my <coughs> excuse me if i use my brush to paint any other side you're gonna to see the glitter still be no, not like it be much, but because of the effect you already be on that layer. So quick one, uh, like this, we take a chin, this kind of edits. One ah uh, sorry. So one last thing now to do now to add sharpening for this picture. See this place? You see this place now? Just click on this AI to just select the picture, do everything for you. And the end with that so you see how the texture on pop even better than before see see so that is way now they use work on picture i know we color grade this picture i just adjust the uh the temperature and how i shoot them on the see like this no best for the background noise, nana morning so people just wake up and then they go on with their daily activities. Thank you. I don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you don't subscribe before, hit the notification button so that that bell icon. Also like this video, share, drop your comments on what you think we need improve on. Thank you.